What up, watch peeps? I got a really good response to that five minute bezel swap video, so I thought I'd do another video in that series. Uh, we're gonna do a five minute day disc swap today. So if you've ever bought a new NH35 movement, it will undoubtedly come with a day disc that is made for use in three o'clock crown cases. So if you're planning on using it in one of the aftermarket cases that you can buy that has a four o'clock crown, or if you're replacing the movement in your SKX or something like that, you're gonna need to replace the day disc on it with one that is oriented for use in a four o'clock crown case. But fear not, it is a relatively simple process and I am gonna walk you through it. So let's get to it. I'm Pete, and we are Chillin' With Watches. So what I'm trying to show you is when you get a new NH35 movement, you'll see how the day and the date are lined up with the crown and the stem. And that is set for a three o'clock day and date window crown coming out of the case at three o'clock. Now we know in a lot of Seiko cases, the stem will come out at about 345, four o'clock which means you're gonna be using the day and the date somewhere up around where the four is on the date wheel. And you'll see there's no day lined up with that. So you'll have to replace the day disc with one that's designed for a four o'clock crown. I'll show you what I mean by putting a dial on. Now see here, if you take a look, you'll see how the dial's not pressed down all the way, but the three is lined up, but that Wednesday is a little bit off. So we're gonna need a different day wheel. And that's not a very hard fix. The date wheel is a little more difficult to change than the day wheel. The day wheel just has a little tiny clip on it, pops right off. The date, you gotta kinda take plates off and get the movement holder off and all sorts of things. So I'm gonna grab the new day wheel so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is, if you can see this little tiny clip, this little tiny clip on around the hour hand post there, it's a little C-clip, that's gotta come off, that's what holds the day wheel on, then we'll be able to remove the day wheel. So I just pry it up loose with a with a small screwdriver. You can see it's now loose. Just take that off with the tweezers and then your day wheel will just come right up. And you just lift your old day wheel right off and replace it with your new one. And I just drop that over the post. We're gonna have to replace the C-clip to hold it in place. Sometimes I give it a little squeeze to make sure that the C-clip is still tight and we didn't loosen it up too much when we removed it. You can see it just kinda sits over that post. Let's see if I can get better light on there. And we're just gonna press it down. What I usually do is just use a hands presser for that. A large hands presser. Just fits over the hour hand post. And can get that C clip seated all the way down. And now you can, you can change the day and the date on there to make sure that it's advancing properly. And now if I reinstall this dial, you should see that they now line up. Now you have a properly lined up day and date wheel. 
that's it nothing more to it and if you were curious what it is i'm working on here with that day wheel swap it's kind of a fotina seiko skx setup here i got going into a little fotina pepsi bezel case so that's it guys the day disc swap relatively painless process especially if you're doing dial and hands anyway I almost always end up putting an NH35 in my SKXs. It seems silly to service a 7S26, but I hang on to them anyway. I'll throw a link to the um, day discs that I bought recently off of eBay. They're like 20 bucks, which is two thirds the price of a new NH35 at 30 bucks, but gotta do what you gotta do. All right, before I let you go, sneaker check, wearing my Jordan 1 lows again. And that's it, I'm out. If it's not too much trouble, like, subscribe, and come back next time. Peace.